guys, it's Heather from Calva Plan, and in today's video, we are going to be going back to my series that's on my channel. This is on a playlist, and it's called How to Plan. It's the How to Plan series, and throughout this series, I focus on a different way to plan, and I show you how to plan uh, for different areas of your life. So there's like how to student plan, how to teacher plan, how to faith plan, how to fitness plan, how to budget plan, how to meal plan, and all of those kinds of things. Well, in today's video, I'm going to specifically focus in, instead of a type of planning, I'm gonna focus in on a type of layout. And today's video is gonna be how to plan using a color block layout. This has been really requested lately. Um, I taught at Michael's class this past weekend, and it wasn't even on the color block layout, but tons of people had questions on how to use the color block layout. And so I decided I'm just gonna make a video on it. So this is what the Happy Planner calls the color block layout. It used to be called the student layout and they used to only put it in student planners, but they have kind of switched it up and now they just call it color block and it's actually available in a lot of different planners now. So this is an old one um, that I just pulled out of an old planner. This one is technically a student planner. That's why it says upcoming test over here. These days, the color block layout doesn't say that if, unless it's a student planner. So, um, but it's a called color block because it has these, it has seven rows and they're color blocked. So you have a row of pink, a row of white, a row of pink, a row of white, a row of pink, a row of white, and a row of pink. Um, so that's why it's called a color block layout. So when you decide to use the color block layout, I think you have to approach it in two different ways. And these are the two ways. The first way is you look at this layout and you say, I'm just gonna pretend like this is a regular vertical planner and I'm going to ignore the color block, which means you're not really gonna, you're just gonna pretend like these are stripes almost in the background, but they don't actually mean anything. And you're just gonna use your stickers like you normally would in a vertical planner. But you have kind of this addition of color in the background, um, which is kind of cute and fun. That's one option. The other option is that you look at this color block layout and you say, I'm going to use the color block layout as a, as a blocked layout where each row is going to be for something different. Um, I think that with the color block layout, you really, you have to pick one or the other. Um, now, if you're going to treat it like a vertical planner, then you just decorate like you would with a vertical planner and you kind of just ignore the lines. That's how I, whenever I use the color block layout, that's usually what I do is I just pretend like these lines are actually there. Sorry, I yawned. I pretend like these lines aren't actually there and I just decorate my planner like I normally would. So we're going to do that, but we're also going to do where we say that these lines actually mean something. And when you plan that way, I think that's a really great way to plan if you think compartmentalized. That's how I am. It's why I have multiple planners because I, in my mind, things are separated. So like I have my catch-all planner, but then I have my social media planner and I have my faith planner and I have my lettering planner and everything is like divided out. And that's just how I think. I like things to be different. If I'm working on my social media planner, I don't want to be thinking about the dishes that I need to do downstairs. I want to be working on my business in that planner. I like things to be separated. So if you're like that, you like things to be separated, but maybe you're not ready to jump into having multiple planners, then the color block layout is going to be great for you because you can really compartmentalize based on the rows and you don't have, but you don't have to have multiple planners. Um, so that's one reason I really like this layout too. So we're, I'm going to show you how to use this layout both ways. We're going to start by doing a spread and treating it like a normal vertical planner and just decorating it and almost ignoring these lines a little bit. That's what we're going to do first. Okay. So I'm going to reach over here and grab some stickers. You guys know I'm probably always going to put florals in my planner and maybe this girl with goals because it has a lot of purple. So I'm going to open this and I really want some purple florals. Looks like I've used a lot of the purple florals in this book, but that's okay. We're gonna figure out a way to make it work. So we're gonna go with this floral first. 
And again, I'm just decorating this like I normally would, okay? So I'm gonna put this over here and I'm just pretending like the lines are just stripes in the background. Okay, and then I'm gonna take this corner one And I'm going to put it over here in the corner. One thing to note with color block is they actually don't color block the weekend. And then this says weekend vibes, which I'm just going to end up covering with this sticker. Now, the great thing about these floral stickers is you don't need a lot to make the spread pretty. Like, honestly, that might be the only two that I put down because it's the only two purple ones that are left. Um, and it might be fine I'm just making sure okay so this one does is that same purple floral right here so I'm gonna probably save this and I really like these little purple dash things so I'm gonna save those too okay so now I'm gonna go to this girl with goals I really like those box stickers, but they were all double boxes. Are there any regular box stickers in this book? I don't know that there are. Okay, so there are not any regular boxes in that book. So we need to grab another one. This faith one has some purple stickers. Does it have any purple boxes? It's like here. I'm gonna grab this purple one. And remember, I'm trying to do this like it's just a regular planner and I'm ignoring the lines. So I could just take this one and maybe trim it some. Put it down here in this corner. And then I could layer this box on top of it like that. Okay, then I'm going to take this one out of the faith book. It says rejoicing in. I'm going to cut off that part that says rejoicing in. I'm gonna go back over here. I'm gonna get this little purple one that kind of coordinates. And I'm gonna put it, again, I'm gonna trim off the edge. Put this like that. Turn this on its side. Cute. Okay, let's see if there's any other purple and green stickers in here. Oh, we do have a green checklist sticker. This would be cute. So I'm going to take this one. Again, I'm just ignoring these lines. I'm pretending like they're not here. And I'm just going to lay this down like I would wherever I want it in my planner. Okay. Now, one thing to look at, though, is... You might want to at least line this up with the start of a box, if I can get it up again. So I'm going to go back over here, I'm going to lay it down at the top of this white stripe. this purple one so I'm gonna go over here 
and then I'm going to line it up at the top of this pink box. Like that. I really love this one that says, It is well with my soul. So I'm going to put it right here. This is like a cute little decor. This one says, He leadeth me beside still waters. I'm actually going to cover that quote over here just to add in more colors. Okay, then I'm going to take this box and I'm going to have it go off like this. And I'm going to put this like this for our little title. This one says faithful in, but I don't want the words. I just want the box. So I'm going to cut that off. And we're going to put this over here to add more green to that side. Okay, I'm just going back through this book, this faith book, and I'm looking for pink or purple and green stickers. So here I'm going to take this one. It says it is well. With over here, I'm going to layer this on top of it. Add some more green over there. Then I could take this purple one and I'm going to line it up like that. I would really like a green box like this to put here as like a little title. Yes, we have one. Okay, I just feel like this needs some green on it. Okay, I feel like this is pretty good. I think the only other thing I really need to do, I'm flipping through here just to make sure. We do have that green and that purple. Okay. Take this, put this here as like a special bullet point. Put this here. Okay, so this is how you could just decorate a color block just like a normal planner, ignore the lines, just put the stickers where you want them. I will say this is gonna take practice to figure out exactly how you like um the, the stickers where you want them it's going to take time to figure out exactly what works best for you um but that is how i would do it if i was just going to use it as just a regular planner you'll get better as time goes on but you could also like i mentioned earlier actually use this as a color block layout where you're blocking off different things in your life so if i was going to use this and this was going to be my only planner that's how I'm going to set this up, as if this is the only planner I am going to use. So that means I need to put everything on, I need to assign a row, or I need to assign each row to a different purpose. So I'm going to pull out this book. Let's see. Didn't it have, oh, these are clear. Oh, these are paper. So what you could do with this, I wonder, I'm trying to decide if you should, you could, you could put stickers down the side that you can write on to title each thing. You could put them across the top, but that takes up a lot of room. So I think what I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to letter 
down the side what I want each thing to be for. So like here, the top one I could do for my verse of the day. If I'm going to get rid of my faith planner and I'm only going to use this, then I could write verse. Okay, and then here, maybe this is going to be where I plan my YouTube videos because I'm only using one planner. So here I plan out my YouTube videos for each day. Here, I'm gonna put Instagram, where I can plan out my Instagram post. I wish I'd use a smaller pen because it's like running into that. I'm trying to think of all the different things I plan for. So this could be Patreon. This could be errands. This could be home. And this could be just maybe other, where I put other things. Okay, so then I have basically taken all the things that I planned for and I've written them over here. Now you don't have to write this every week. Once you get into um, like a rhythm and you know what you're gonna be using your planner for, you probably don't need to write this every week, but you could if you wanted to. Um, so once you have that, let's see. Let me reach over here. Let's use this sticker book this time. I really just want to use this sticker book for its floral stickers because I feel like they're going to match. So we could put one of these here. I'm gonna do for now but this did have now breaking down how I'm gonna decorate this is really gonna depend on how you plan for the different areas of your life so like for me if I'm gonna use this row for Instagram I like to do two Instagram posts a day so then I would want to come in here and on the Instagram row I would want to put two dots so that I can plan out Two Instagram posts a day so that would be the first thing I will say if you're gonna use a color block layout where you're assigning each row a different thing like this your planner it can still be pretty but it's really gonna its focus I think is gonna be more on being practical and you're not gonna have as much space to waste with pretty stickers. Not that pretty stickers are a waste, but, and you might because like maybe you don't have something to put in Patreon every day or, or whatever. And, and you're, the great thing about the color block layout is it's going to be super customizable over here based on what you need to plan for. So like mine is basically, um, I've got a place for faith, work, and then home. Yours, you might split this up in different ways. So I'd love in the comments if if you go and drop the different ways, the different things that you might use these different rows for. So if you were going to use a color block layout, what would you assign the different rows for? So maybe yours would be you have a row for each kid and a row for your husband and a row for work. Maybe you have a row for just kids in general. Maybe you have a row for like work, home, school, kids, husband, errands. What If you were going to use a color block layout, what would you use it for? And maybe you're sitting here and you're like, I don't know, Heather. I don't know what I would use it for. And that's okay. The way to figure out how to use each row in your own life is I would take out a piece of paper 
And I would write down all the things that you want to plan for in your life. What are things that you want to get a better handle on, a, bit, a better grip on? And write them all down. And then decide which seven you want to put in the row. It's okay if you don't know right away. You can always um, figure it out as you go. That's totally fine. Now, this sticker book here, this is Good Vibes. And this is a student sticker book. So the student sticker books are going to have more stickers that fit in these boxes because this is also the student layout. Again, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, they used to use this just for student layout, but now they put it in other things as well. So you're gonna find some stickers that are gonna fit in here. Um, so on Mondays, I always do a Patreon Live. So I could take this Today sticker and I could place it here on Monday and maybe that's where I write down about my Patreon life okay and then here maybe I have a project due to a company on a Friday so um, this says other so I'm gonna put this sticker here okay I'm gonna flip through looking specifically for smaller stickers right now. Errands, maybe this day I need to go to Target. So I could use this as like my checklist. And it's okay if it goes into the next day a little bit. And I could write Target. Here I have this sticker that says take note. This is technically for a monthly stick, uh, square because it's got the thing notched out of it, but you could put it, like maybe I wanna put it here because this is my Aaron's row where I can put it up here. I actually don't think I'm gonna use it because I don't like that the notch is there. There are ways to cover that notch up, but over here, this is my Aaron's row. So I'm gonna put this right here. This is can be where I write my weekend errands. I feel like this layout is really great for more purposeful planning. Like right now I'm having to really think what am I going to put in each of these rows? So like here on home, I could put this here. This is going to fit perfectly actually. And it's going to highlight that on this day, I have something to do at home. Over here, I could put this here or I could put it up here. Although I probably wouldn't put it up there. Or maybe I put it here to highlight another thing I have to do at home. These, these are where I'm gonna put my verse of the day. So maybe I actually put this here so that I have a flower, but I still have a spot to write my verse of the day too. Okay, so I would keep breaking this down based on what I needed to plan for each category. Okay, so those are kind, those are, two ways to use a color block layout where you're just planning and you're just putting stickers where you think they're cute and then where you're breaking it down and giving each day like a focus so like then if i was going to use this for youtube what i would do is each day i'd come in here and i would write what my video was going to be so this is going to be a mini happy planner this is always going to be a classic happy planner And then I would fill in the videos for the day. Here I would fill in my Instagram posts for the day. And it's going to be super purposeful. I used a few stickers, but it's not going to be super, super decorative because the main goal is going to be purpose, 
purpose in this type of layout. At least I think it is. Of course, you might be different. You might look at this layout and think it has great potential for decorating. I think it has great potential for being super, super purposeful. So I hope this video gives you some, at least some ideas on where to start, how to decide if you want to use your color block this way or this way. Um, I, if you use color block layout and you have any tips for people who are looking to try this layout, I'd love to hear them in the comments. So be sure to drop them down there. If you like this video, I hope you hit the like button. If you want to see more of my videos, hit that subscribe button and happy planning.